Submarines and aquatic robots will now be able to speak the same underwater language. Researchers at NATO have developed the first ever international standard for underwater communication. It's called Janus. Robots are used for underwater research, mining, and military operations. Janus could allow all of these different types of aquatic vessels to communicate. There are international standards for airwaves, which is how we can connect over the internet and exchange data. But up until now, there wasn't a common protocol for robots or vessels to address each other underwater. Instead, groups of robots used customized acoustic signals on many different frequencies to connect. This meant that some robots could talk amongst themselves, but not with other systems. Now all underwater robots and vessels can use Janus to talk to each other. With Janus, two systems make contact at a particular frequency, 11.5 kilohertz. Once they are connected, they can either continue to communicate with Janus, or they can switch to a new frequency for privacy or convenience. To test Janus out at sea, researchers set up a system of underwater tripods that emit acoustic signals. The tripods can send signals to each other and then send a performance report to researchers on shore. Along with the tripods on the seafloor, researchers also tested Janus from the water's surface, using buoys to convert radio or Wi-Fi signals in the air to Janus signals underwater. The goal is for Janus to create one big network where underwater robots can communicate with each other and with submarines, buoys, and ships. In a sense, Janus is the first step toward creating an underwater internet.